decided to build this company because we got really focused on building a technology that I think we can deploy today. And you know, we've been waiting for AVs for a while, and we think that there are some big advantages to building smaller, lighter vehicles that you can get on the road safely now and serve a real market need. And so we've been really focused on getting vehicles deployed, and, and our kind of first application is delivery. And we think there are a lot of safety wins that come from delivering packages or food instead of people. And so um, the long-term hope is that we have vehicles that can do everything, but right now we want to build vehicles that can do something. And so we're really excited to be based here and working with all the challenges that come with deploying in places that aren't California or Arizona. And so everything from potholes to um, the weather are really the things that drive um, what we think are going to be big technological innovations around deploying vehicles in ways that they're not being done um, right now. Um, so right now we're focused on food delivery and so we pick up food from restaurants that we're partnered with and then we drop it off in people's houses. And so we use a mix of autonomy and teleoperation. So the vehicle has 12 cameras, um, millimeter wave radar and ultrasound sensors that give it a view of everything around it. And so we use that in combination with um, a safety cyclist right now that's following it to make sure that it doesn't get into trouble, but we navigate through the world by looking for areas where we're supposed to be driving. So that's the margin of the road, exactly where a bicycle would be. So it's next to the parked cars or in the bike lane or um, on the side of the road. And we follow along there and you know, obey all the traffic laws and then um, move from destination to destination, picking food up and dropping it off. Um, the ultimate goal is to kind of have a relationship between um, the vehicles and several tele-op drivers. So that means one driver can control four or five different vehicles. And ultimately, we think the unit economics of that are really positive for doing things like delivery. I mean, one of the reasons we want to build this company is we think it's really, really important that we figure out a sustainable and safe way of doing delivery, right? There's mm -hmm. an increasing demand from consumers for packages, for food, for really everything brought to them on demand. And using um, a full-size car that weighs 5,000 pounds, that has to double park um, on the side of the road to pick up food and drop it off, and also has huge emission concerns for you know, greenhouse gases, pollution, smog, all those kind of things. It seems like a really inefficient way of doing this. Mm -hmm. And then additionally, if you think about the capital investment you need to do that to just deliver something that costs maybe five, eight bucks, um, it doesn't really make a ton of sense. And so you're seeing these real challenges of scaling those businesses in a way that's profitable. And so we're hoping that this will be transformative for the way that we move goods around dense urban areas. We'd like to reduce congestion. That's a huge problem if you look at um, growing cities. Um, a large amount of the traffic is from deliveries, be that packages or ride hailing drivers, all those kind of things. And um, we want to figure out a way of addressing that to make cities more sustainable and um, more effective. Mm.